Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to talk about the Poco Phone F1 again. Now, this is one of the most sought after ROMs that is Pixel Experience and it does say that it is beta and the updated date is 7th of February 2021. Now, we will look at the changelog. This is sort of a quick initial impressions review, not exactly a review. I've been using this phone with this particular ROM for a day and uh, yeah, the impressions have been pretty decent. I have gamed on it. There will be a dedicated video on gaming experience coming up soon. And we will be live streaming using this particular ROM as well. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community. You can join us there. We are present on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can join us on those handles as well. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support us. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so first things first, we will talk about the changelog. February security patch fixed a system UI crash when connecting to some Bluetooth devices, added Gcam Go as default instead of Snap, updatable through Play Store, which is good. Update vendor and firmware blobs from 12.0.3, which is again good for stability and a lot of other functions. Imported render script blobs from Pixel 3 XL, configured SQLite journal to use memory mode, about 2x performance increase in X SQLite. So that's the entire change log and bam, the moment you go to the home screen, you see that this is a very, very basic, very, very pixel-esque look. That is the deal. Towards the left, you do have the Google Discover page and the things that you see over here will be standard from now on because I will have two to three benchmark applications and a couple of games always because that is what we have tested but initial impressions if you have a look let me just first show you we don't have anything in memory apart from telegram and you do see that it's working super smooth, super fluid. That is the idea of Pixel Experience ROM. Now, even in the beta avatar, I have not really had many problems. If we talk about the camera situation over here, you will notice that the front camera works fine. The rear camera works fine. You can all, you know, you can, of course, go ahead and use the main G cam and stuff like that. I've not tried ANX camera, but ANX camera is available for Android 11 devices. So I think that should be working fine as well. So what we're going to do here is first have a look at the launcher details. Now, the moment you long press on the home screen, you will have home settings, widgets, styles and wallpapers. Let's go to them one by one. So under home settings, if you go to about, this is version 11. So this is a basic Android launcher or which launcher, I'm not aware, but you do have native notification dots at a glance add app icons to home screen, swipe to access Google app. So very, very basic and straightforward launcher over there. Nothing much, but pretty useful. You do have all your standard Android 11 widgets and you have styles and wallpapers, which we will cover when we have a look at the settings part. Now, the camera is good. The overall UI is good. I have not experienced any, you know, force closure or anything of that sort. Now, let's actually move to settings. And before we actually move to settings, let's have a look at the notification drawer over here or the quick tiles as some people call it. Now, you do have a fair share of options available over here. You have storage, focus mode, bedtime mode, live caption, screencast, invert colors, do not disturb. That is basically DND. So, you know, almost all the functions are working fine. I've not had any issues. Uh, yeah. Now, if we go to settings and you go to system Android version, you will see that all the things that were mentioned in that change log do check out over here. You have the kernel version. This is Etude OP kernel. I'm not aware. I'm looking at it for the first time. But yeah, for the Pocophone F1, you do have quite a lot of options when it comes to kernels as well. Now, moving on, if we actually go to settings, sorry for the phone shaking there. You do have network and internet, wherein if you actually go to advanced, you have a few more options. I don't have a SIM card in there, but while I had the SIM card in there, Wi-Fi calling and stuff were working just fine. I did not have any issues. 
and uh, you do have the connectivity options over here with Android Auto and all the other things. So Bluetooth works as expected. You do have apps and notifications. Now moving on, if you go to battery, now the good thing here is you do have optimization profile. So you can set performance mode or gaming mode. You do have the battery usage, the battery saver, turn on light while charging. So the good thing that I like about Pixel Experience is you don't have over the top simplification of things or you don't have over the top customization that is that is what i like so if you go to display you will have your night light your adaptive brightness auto rotate screen all the basic options you have you know the font size double tap to wake that is there and if you go to sound you have advanced in which you will find that you have phone ringtone and all the other things live caption is also there so you know more or less the android 11 goodies are present and they work fine you do have the screenshot option or you know the select option at the bottom as well now moving on you have storage you have privacy in privacy you can decide a hell lot of things that is a good thing about android 11 for example you have activity controls this that all the other options are working as expected now nothing much in location but if you go to security you do have smart lock you do have fingerprint the only thing that i don't find over here is face unlock but if we actually go to smart lock you don't have face unlock here as well so yeah face unlock is missing it might be somewhere else if you find it let me know and you do have digital well-being and parental controls which works like a charm you don't really have a lot of problems over there so overall you know the battery life on this particular rom has been pretty pretty decent for me in the last 24 hours i've been able to get easily four to six hours of screen on time with a performance mode mixed usage wherein i was playing games or running benchmarks and stuff and uh, i did charge or discharge the phone twice to thrice so fast charging or quick charging is working fine as well now moving on when we talk about the performance we should actually look at the performance aspect of it so first of all i did run antutu now remember these runs were done after keeping the phone off for five to ten minutes which makes sure that the phone is cooled down and you get the best score possible so 344,053, right about you know the right ballpark if you go to geekbench we have done a Geekbench test as well. So today's February 10th, 489 and 2018. Now this test was immediately done after running Antutu. So you can expect higher scores over there. And then you do have 3D Mark as well. So if you talk about my device, this is all the detail that you'll get. Your best score is 1493. Average score is 3000. So you know this is this is the vulcan api run that we had done so all in all i don't really have any problem recommending pixel experience as a daily driver amazon prime hd unfortunately doesn't work because this is a device related issue and not exactly you know something that a rom can do apart from that banking applications work fine all the gestures are working fine you do have the android 10 gestures okay google is working fine and as i said about the battery the charging discharging dual sim everything on this rom is working as expected so more or less this is a very very solid update although they are still calling it beta there might be some things which are broken which i might not be using daily but if you find something of that sort let me know in the comment section and please do wait for a dedicated gaming review of this particular rom in which i'll be playing pubg for around three to five minutes and call of duty mobile for around three to five minutes with a fps counter and we will also measure the temperature and then we will be doing that classic usual live stream as well so this was the quick initial impression preview of the latest pixel experience update let me know in the comment section what do you think about it until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye